If you have a McLean reel mower with a 3.5 Briggs & Stratton motor and you're having engine problems, I'm going to show you two things that you absolutely need that will solve 99% of your problems. Stick around. Nothing to me is more frustrating than having engine problems when all you want to do is get out there and cut the grass. You know, engines will have problems from time to time. Of course, that's normal. You know, you have problems starting the engine or the engine is not running right. It's just so frustrating. A telltale sign that you're having engine problems is seeing excessive exhaust soot all over your mower. Now the two most common problems that I see, the spark plug is worn or the spark plug is fouled or carburetor diaphragm it has a tear in it. The carburetor diaphragm sits under this plate here. Now typically you could probably just remove your exhaust and access it right there without taking everything apart. In my case, my exhaust is stuck. You want to take a look at the model number of your engine and it's usually located on the head of your engine stamped right there. That way you can go ahead and look up any reference materials on the internet. The first thing is to remove the air filter and the air filter housing. It's held on by four screws. The next component to be removed is the throttle and choke controls. There's linkages and springs connected to the various levers, so you want to take good notes. Even pictures, I highly recommend pictures. It will help in putting it back together. There's a governor link, the governor spring, and the choke link that connects to the various levers. Remove the two screws that hold the control to the fuel tank and get it out of the way. Here's the governor spring, the, the choke link, and this wire is a kill switch wire that will ground out the spark plug. You can depress the little spring tab and slide the wire out and you get the controls out of the way. Remove the two screws that hold the carburetor to the engine block. You also want to remove the screws that hold the carburetor to the fuel tank. Once removed, you want to disconnect the fuel tank, look for a screw on the bottom of the fuel tank and unscrew that. Now that the carburetor and fuel tank is separated, you can go ahead and lift the carburetor out of the fuel tank, being careful not to break the fuel pickup Now that tube. the carburetor is loose, you can remove the governor linkage and go ahead and open up the cover to the carburetor diaphragm. Remove the old diaphragm. Now's the perfect time to clean up the carburetor with some brake clean. Here's the new kit. It's Briggs & Stratton 5021. I'll leave a link for it in the description of this video. Go ahead and reassemble your carburetor. And don't forget to check your fuel filters make sure that they're clean and also give an inspection to the fuel pickup tube and the filter on the bottom of it just to make sure that nothing's blocking or clogging it. Go ahead and reassemble your parts and put it back on your mower. Attach your controls and make sure all your springs and levers are connected. Put a little bit of gas in your carburetor and give it a go. Now it's a good idea to keep a couple extra carburetor diaphragms and spark plugs on hand just so that you have it when something goes wrong because you never know when that's going to happen. Alright, it looks like it's working. Yeah, such a good feeling to get it back running again. Replace the air filter and air filter housing. There it goes. Sounds good. Now we can get back to business. Now I hope that this video has helped you in some way. 
give you more confidence uh, to repair your own motor. If you like what you saw, please hit that thumbs up button. It really helps for me to know that you guys like this type of content. And till the next one, guys, I appreciate every single one of you guys. Thanks for watching and aloha.